Hi, it's Carissa, and today I'm going to show you how to do this. I love glitter, and uh, I figured it was time to make me some monogram cards. So, um, what I have here is I have out of this, it's kind of like cereal box weight, it's not real thick, it's not chipboard. Um, but I've cut, using my Cricut, I've cut three of these W's. This one was cut at one and a half inches and it was really big and so I kind of brought the size down and now that I'm looking at it in scale to the card I really like the bigger one better so I think I'm going to use the bigger ones so this is from the Hannah Montana Cricut cartridge and I just have two of these cut actually of the bigger ones and what I'm going to do is to make it thicker like chipboard is I'm going to layer two of these on top of each other and I'm going to use this Tombow multi liquid glue. I've never used this before so this is kind of a first time for me. I've seen a lot of people use it for chipboard projects and stuff like that and um, I thought I'd give it a try. So I'm going to kind of spread it out. I don't want it too thick. So in the places that it's a little bit thicker, I'm going to spread it out and get it good and covered. And then I'm going to layer this second one directly on top of it so that it gives it a little bit more dimension. I think people call this like faux chipboard and you could do this with cardstock too, like a few layers of cardstock and it would work as well. It just gives you that thick chunky look to the letter instead of having it you know flat like a chipboard or like a just if you were to cut it out of one thin layer of cardstock. Now there's two options for this. You could use this Tombow Mono uh, glue again and cover the whole thing and cover it with glitter but what I'm going to show you how to use today is the Stampin' Up! Heat and Stick Powder. It gives it a little bit, um, I think less glitter will come off on it if you use the heat and stick than if you use the glue. So glitter is still going to come off because it's glitter and it gets everywhere and glitter is messy. So if you're not a messy kind of person or you're not in a messy kind of mood, maybe this is not the project for you today. But um, I'm, I love glitter and I'm going to use it today. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this now and I'm going to press it right on my Versamark pad and get it good and covered because I want the heat and stick powder to stick all over this because I want it to be solid covered in glitter when it's done. I'm just going to do this and I'm not being very careful about my fingers. Now that I have that covered, I'm going to bring a tray over here. So this is the side that has the Versamark ink on it and I have it laid up. And I'm just going to take the Stampin' Up! Heat and Stick Powder and mine's kind of a little chunky. I don't know what the deal is with that, but I use this to break it up. Maybe I just need some new one. Mine's kind of old and sometimes my craft room gets a little warm so I'm wondering if it, that wasn't part of it. But I used it the other day, it works. Anyway, I'm going to dump this all over the monogram that I have here. And I'm going to use my tweezers now because this gets really messy from this point forward. I want to make sure that I get a good coating of that heat and stick powder on there. So I'm just kind of moving it around, getting it really done in there. And then I'm going to take my heat tool, hence the name heat and stick powder, and I am going to heat this until it melts. And now I'm going to take this piece of paper that's under this and I'm going to fold this 
so that when I dump my glitter on there, I have a way of getting it back into the jar. And I'm going to take this glitter from Stampin' Up! And it comes in a pack, and I can't remember the name of the pack right now. But I will put it on there, on the video. And I'm just going to dump this glitter everywhere, all over the W. And then just give me a second to get this kind of clean back up. I'm going to kind of shake off the excess. Set this aside for just a second. Dump this back into my glitter container. Hopefully not making too big of a mess. But like I said, glitter is messy. You can see where my Versamark pad was there before. And then I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm going to heat this up again. Just get it hot again and that sets the glitter on there. Okay, so what I have here is I have my craft card base and I have a piece of old olive designer series paper that's cut at two by five and a half. I'm going to take my, sorry about that, I'm going to take my eyelet border punch and I'm going to punch the edge of this. And I'm just lining it up with the design that's on the top of it. And they're really easy to use this way. Gives you a perfect border. One last little tiny punch. Get that edge. Clear this out of the way. I'm going to put this on here like that. And then I'm going to use a piece of the chocolate chip ribbon. Let me adhere this down first. You can see the design on the opposite side of the paper. I like um, the designer series papers. It's nice because there's two designs on every single sheet. And if you're using it for card making, it goes quite a long ways because you get two sheets of 12 by 12 paper or something like that. And two sheets of several different designs. And you know, you're just using a couple inches of it for every card, so it goes quite a long way. Tie this around here. Okay, so now I finally, finally, finally got my ribbon on there. <laughs> I'm going to take my W and I'm going to mount it on here with some dimensionals. And I'm going to have glitter all over me today. That maybe I'll do without this one. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to pull that one off if it's showing. I wonder, can you hear that out there? They're doing construction across the street and they're banging something around. I don't know if you can hear that in the video or not. Okay, I can see this one and it will drive me nuts. It's coming off. And then these, because I can see them also, are getting squished in. That is not cool to see your dimensionals from the front. You're going to see them if you look to the side, but don't want to see them from the front. Okay. It's on there, and I have my very own monogrammed glitter card. Maybe you'll be the recipient.